hello guys welcome back in the next video here is where we left off and this is what we have on our on our simulator okay uh, now today we are going to talk about two widgets two very very important widgets and the two widgets are going to be the column widget and the row. Let's suppose we want to have this text multiple times. So we want to have hello world here, hello world here, hello world here, and so on. How can we do that? Okay, to do that, we use a specific widget called the column widget okay so let me delete these oh no I will replace the text widget with with a column you can have multiple or n widgets inside of a specific widget there is no limitation number you can have a container inside of a container inside of a container and so on okay here for the column, we're going to give column, right? And inside of a column, we are going to write children. Notice the difference. Here we have the container, and inside of this widget, the container widget, we are providing another widget, a single widget, the column. That's why we're giving child. But for the column, well, we are going to have multiple widgets. We want to have a text uh, under a text, which is under another text. So we have three text widgets. So to make that possible, you don't write child. You write children. Children widgets. Okay. Uh, children and these square brackets represent list means that you're going to give a list of widgets that's why I have widgets here this is just the type of the content of the lists you're providing right okay let me copy okay let me write it text hello one let's try to run and see what's going to happen You have here hello one you have it all the way up here because you're using a container in not a center widget right uh, to make our lives easy we can just come here and change this to center and for the center widget you don't have this okay We'll use the center widget for now. It's going to work perfectly for us. Just run the app again. Here we have hello one. Uh, let me try to drag it over here. I'm having a hard time here okay it's good enough it's just wasting my time um, uh, so you will be able to see here the transformation I don't have to minimize if you want to give another widget another text widget below this you have to separate both of them using a comma then we're going to give text and we're going to write here hello to And if you run it, you have it here. Hello too. And if you want to give another one, you just give here text. Then hello. Oops. Hello tree.
Here you have it. Okay? So, let's suppose we want to use a row. We can just come here and change column for row. Simple. And let's see what happens when you run it. Wow. And now you have a problem. And now you may be wondering what's happening. This is simple. The widgets, we have hello1, hello2, hello3. Uh, they are wider than the screen. I don't know if I make any sense, but to make this easy, I can just come here and comment this. And let's run it again. You see? Uh, to make this okay let me try to uncomment here and see if it's going to fit the width of the screen and it doesn't okay let me erase here I will write one over here and two over there let's run it then you have a column one two right simple okay guys uh, so for column and row it's all for now of course we have a lot of a lot of things we can do with those widgets rows and columns but I, I don't want to make this a specific flatter course or of course on widgets because our goal is to build the e-commerce site I'm just providing the basics the basics the basic knowledge so that we can go and start building our e-commerce application with no problem but if you think my pace is being way too fast and you're not able to understand just let me know and I can slow down a little bit thank you for your time see you on the next one